Sons call him Superman after an incident that left him blind. Now, Romy Hall is testing his strength after overcoming a heavy time in his life. All new this morning, our Ray Daniel introduces us to a real life Superman. It was eight years ago when things went dark for Romy Hall. I lost my sight in 2014, an altercation where I was stabbed in the face through the eye. The knife actually punctured my brain at the same time. When I was in the hospital, I had the thought of suicide. But he says because of his sons and his faith, he knew he had to keep going, even picked up a new nickname along the way. When I was in the hospital, Trey called me and said, Dad, you're Superman. You survived being stabbed. And so by myself, I'm an ordinary man, but I sell, serve a supernatural God, which us together makes me a Superman and gives me the strength to get through every day, do the things I do, because I might make it look easy, but it's not easy to move around in complete darkness. Like running this machine at Alpha Point. Like whenever you saw my head moving back and forth, I was listening to a different sound, making sure nothing was sounding wrong. These caps are for prescription bottles for VAs all across the country. On them, the suicide prevention hotline number. Because you call that number, you see someone cares. They want you around. We love you. You've went out and fought for our country. So the least I can do is go put numbers on something that can help them save their lives. Paul lists dozens of these cap-filled boxes each day. I, on average, do about 220,000 caps a day, which is 110 boxes. But I'm actually lifting 220 boxes because I'm throwing on one end and the other end. And they're each about 40 pounds. Now, he's putting his lifting skills to the test as he prepares for the USA Powerlifting KC Metro competition Saturday. You know, during this competition, I'll be going against sighted people. So I will be there not only represent myself, but also the visually impaired that we not, may not be able to see, but we can do the same things that you do. The competition will be at William Jewell College, a place Hall knows very well. 20 years ago, I was there running track. I would never thought 20 years later, I would be going there blind, lifting weights. <sighs> Sight unseen. He's making sure he doesn't set any limits on what he's capable of doing. My motto is, they say the sky's the limit. When I look up, I don't see a sky. So there's no, lo no limit to what I can do. Absolutely none. Because I see nothing but darkness when I look up. There's no sky there. There's no limits. Mm. Ray Daniel with that incredible story. And Martin says he looks forward to hopefully winning that competition to one day play for the Olympic team. Here are details of the competition. If you'd like to go, it's up in Liberty. It's Saturday at the Maybe Center in William Joel College. It's from 9 to 5. Romy Session is from 2 to 5. This is open to the public. It costs 10 bucks at the door. Uh, we wish him luck. I'm sure he will do fantastically.